The massive missile attack on Ukrainian cities is an attempt to break the will to resist. I will examine what and who is behind the causes of the massive shelling of Ukraine. The massive attack by Russian troops on Ukraine is an attempt to break the will of Ukrainians to resist. These strikes on Ukrainian territory can be compared to the London Blitz, when the Nazis carried out massive raids on the capital of the British Empire. In fact, their goal was to put psychological pressure on the population. The main thing here is the psychological factor. These raids are attempts to break the will to resist. Such actions are not done from a position of strength, it speaks of weakness and the inability to achieve goals in any other way. Because in the eighth month of the war, strikes on civilian infrastructure will not have much effect on the military component and will only increase international support. Russian armed forces strikes on civilian and infrastructure facilities are to be expected to continue. The reason is that General Surovikin, who is known for his brutality, spares no one, not even his own subordinates, and has the nickname the Syrian Butcher, has been appointed commander of the Russian Armed Forces Group in Ukraine. He does what he did in Syria, terrorizing civilians. What he does best. By the way, it is of a war crime to attack a critical infrastructure that supports civilian life, but it is for the future court. All in all, as far as I am concerned, this was all designed with one goal in mind, to show that Putin is still the great commander-in-chief, and to shut up all the doubters. All this was prepared in advance, it is impossible to prepare for such a raid in two days. The Crimean bridge was just a lucky coincidence. The consolation, as far as that word goes, is that they are incapable of constant massive attacks against Ukraine. For example, for a month, 100 missiles every day in a row. Then it would be a living hell. At least half of the missiles and kamikaze drones are shot down by air defense. But it is critically lacking. Ukraine needs more weapons. To help the channel grow, watch one or more of the videos offered to you at the end. Thank you.